Hey, my name is Brian Kreutz from Rev Partners, and I want to talk to you about the Rev Partners Sales Hub Fast Track process. So here we are in an empty HubSpot. It's a brand new instance. And the hardest things with CRM implementations, especially with HubSpot, is that the company just made a big investment. They need quick time to value. They also worry about the adoption of their team. Will their team actually use the system? And so our fast track process is designed to be the quickest to value and ensure that you get adoption across the entire team. So here's a blank instance. Nothing's been added. There's no deals. There's only these test contacts that are always in there. No companies. This is a totally blank instance. Let me show you how quickly we can begin to add value to HubSpot. So here I am in my super portal. And so via super, you build a customize um, everything in HubSpot and the click of a button. So here I have our pre-configured packages that hold a lot of HubSpot assets. So let's look at lifecycle stages. This is a very common feature that everyone in uh, HubSpot likes to use, but it's actually a little bit more complex than meets the eyes. Let's go ahead and view this package and install the package. You can see here that this package includes five lists and five workflows. So let's go ahead and install it into our blank instance. All right, here we are, and it's already installing. You know, how quickly it's going through the 10 assets, and after about 15 or 20 seconds, it'll go through build all of the lists and all of the workflows. You can already click into this and start viewing these lists. So these are pre-configured lists using the best practices of HubSpot that are automatically added into your HubSpot portal. You've got the list membership already in here. If you go to folders, we've already got a customer lifecycle stage folder. We've already got a nomenclature, name nomenclature. We're already building best practices within HubSpot. We've only been doing this for about a minute. So let's go check our workflows. Go down here, automation workflows. Look at that, we've already got a folder for customer lifecycle stage workflows. We've already got workflows in here for best practices. What this workflow is doing, it's actually looking at the list we just created and making sure that we're not skipping stages so that our lifecycle stages have very clean funnel conversion reports. So in less than two minutes, I've already got best practices lifecycle stages already in my brand new HubSpot. Well, what else we can do? Can we do dashboards? Of course we can. Go to here, this full dashboard. Let's go ahead and install it. And again, in one click of a button, I'm already installing this dashboard. Go to reports, go to dashboards. Look at this. This entire sales activity review is already created. Of course, there's no data in here, so the reports aren't populating. But look at this. I've got seven reports already created at the click of a button. All right here. I'm going to go through and I'm going to install a few more packages and then uh, come back to show you exactly how easy it is to begin using this. This installed 32 assets in under a minute. Lead status is a very common field. People don't know how to use it correctly. You can't just deploy it manually. No one's going to update it. You need to build lists to automate this. You need to build workflows to move them right to the lead status. You need to timestamp the progression of lead status so that you know if you were connected with someone this month and maybe not last year. All of this is really formatting these packages that help us use best practices out of the box. It is so hard to begin using all of the amazing features of HubSpot on day one unless you have the pre-configured processes built in to begin to train your team on how to use these properly. Lead status by, the, by its own, the standard field, it is useful and it's okay, but you need the 32 assets that we've outlined here as our best practice document to actually implement it, adopt it, and report on it. All right, we're still only four minutes in. Let's see what we've built. Let's go to lists. We've got 14 lists built, already ready to go. Let's go to reports. We've already got 46 reports on four different dashboards. You've got your sales activity review, you've got your sales management review, and your weekly review. Everything that you're going to need to do to run your business within HubSpot is already deployed in here in just a few seconds. All right, so how do we think about adoption? There's really two things about adoption. One, what am I looking at? And two, how do I use it? Let's go to the contacts page real quick. Again, this is brand new HubSpot instance. Nothing's been used yet. Look at these little plus signs. This plus sign is showing me through Supered exactly what I'm looking at. So here you have life cycle stage. Right here it tells you exactly what, how it helps you. Process via handoff. So it tells you all of these common fields, what they're actually used for. Last activity date, create date. They don't have to leave HubSpot or ask someone uh, exactly how these are. They're already pre-built into our system. Now, that's great for like some of these common fields, but what about some of the more specific ones? Well, let's go to, so what's a marketing qualified lead? Sales qualified lead, the definition is right here. But let's say you want to change something custom because you have a very custom definition for some of these things. Let's go ahead and do that. So hop back to my portal, go to my cards, find sales qualified lead. Let's go ahead and update this really quickly while I'm on a call. Go ahead and save. Let's go ahead and refresh. And let's go and check that sales qualified lead definition. This is the test. It's instant. Everything we do is instant. We've got 50 reports. We've got lists. We've got workflows. We've got everything that's needed right now in these pre-built, pre-configured best practice packages. And we are all ready to go. Lead status, lifecycle stages. We've got 20, 30 of these. 
anything you can ever think of, we've already got built. The client is not waiting for us to build things. We are being able to build things in day one. We can do things in 20 seconds that some people, it takes two hours. That's 360 times faster. With all that extra time, we can focus more on adoption. So how do we actually adopt the platform, actually get them to use this? Let's go back here. And so this is very overwhelming in the beginning. There's all these lists, there's all these workflows. So we just wanna focus on one thing. Can you remember your name? If you can do that, you can begin adopting HubSpot. Let's type in my name and see what happens. So here I am in my basic co contact record. And what I've done is I've actually preloaded tasks for them to begin using the system. They can interact with these tasks and know exactly what to do. Some of the hardest things to do like in, a, in scale in the beginning is just to get them to install the Chrome extensions, connecting their calendar, connecting their meeting. These are things that we cannot do on their behalf. So you see this lightning bolt, that means super is enabled. We click this open, we view in the sidebar. We've got a built-in tutorial on exactly how to go and find the Chrome extension and add it here. They go through this tutorial, they know exactly what to do. They go ahead and pin their sale, HubSpot sales sales extension. They check this task is complete and they move on to the next one. Connecting their calendar. All of this is enabled in here for them to ready to rock and roll and go. All of the pre-onboarding tests, all of this stuff that every user needs to go through, we'll do it. We automatically import the set of tasks for all of these users. And so it's extremely easy for us to see if they've done it or not. They click the task that they've completed it, great. If they haven't, then we know that we need to talk to them again. Another benefit of this, instead of sending an email with a lot of Loom videos, they're beginning to interact with, with HubSpot. They're going to look at their contact page. Ooh, what's this note section? What are these email section or active? What are deals? What are tickets? Oh, how do I complete this? What's priority? We're also going to have all of their communication with us via a HubSpot comment. If you want to ask me a question, do it via a task comment inside HubSpot. Keep everything in the HubSpot, make it super easy to communicate with us so it's not overwhelming, but make sure they're using the platform and beginning to learn this. So we're beginning to learn the basics, but we need to figure out how to customize their business processes and put them into HubSpot. Well, we've already thought about that too. Let's go ahead and watch what are life cycle stages. So HubSpot does a great job in their knowledge base, kind of giving you an overview of life cycle stages, but you know, in today's day and age, maybe I only have two minutes. Two minutes, one and a half speed. This is about a minute 20 video, but exactly what life cycle stages are. Let's go down here. What else do I have assigned to me this week? Learn how to populate the life cycle stages discovery document. And so now that I've learned to begin to use the system, I'm going to begin to customize it to my business processes. So I'm going to watch this video and I'm going to figure out exactly what I need to do. Well, everything's ready in HubSpot. So what we're going to do, we're going to pin a note to a custom Google sheet for you to go in there and begin Mapping out your processes. And so once you're beginning to learn about life cycle stages and what they are, of course we need to develop triggers. So we explain what they are, we give definitions, we give standard triggers. You begin to customize this based on your business. You add in your form URL to us. We go back into HubSpot, we go straight into our life cycle stage list, maybe our MQL list. And we take that, we add the form that needs to trigger the life cycle stages. Instead of all of this back and forth, we're doing this, we're enabling this live within HubSpot. All they need to do is fill out their tasks, watch the videos, fill out some of these things, and we're good to go. So what goes with life cycle stages? Lead scoring, what's next? Sales stages, all they have to do is focus on filling out the green sections. Their entire portal is already set up and we're enabling them from day one to use the system. All we're doing is saying, search for your name, notes to be at the very top, go through tasks, click on these lightning bolts, go through them, watch the demos, complete the action, complete this and move on. Now, everything in HubSpot, you know, needs to be reported on. Reporting is a big thing for businesses. And so don't you think we built in reporting for this? Let's go ahead and look at sales activities review. So already they're just completing their onboarding and they're already having activities assigned to them and completed for them. We've got different task types. We've got different activities by sales rep. We've got overdue ones. We've got completed ones. And so just by searching their name and watching a few videos and completing a few things, they're already beginning to use HubSpot without even knowing it. We are breaking down the loving feeling of a brand new CRM. We are implementing from day one. We are adding assets. We are training them through your system. We are building in adoption. We are not just going to have a one hour training with all of the sales reps. We're going to assign them tasks. We're going to know exactly who has and who has not completed it. We're going to build in all of this enabled in here so they know exactly what they do. And as they go through and build out this process and know more and more about HubSpot, we're gonna keep enabling and implementing VA Super. Every single thing that they need to know about HubSpot is going to live natively in HubSpot. We're not taking them out, we're keeping them in HubSpot from day one and we will enable them, we will adopt them, we will support them, and they'll be off to the races as quickly as anyone you've ever sold to before.